Sino ang mananalo sa winner-take-all match ng Pocari Sweat at Bali Pure sa PVL Reinforced Conference Finals? Para sa usapan na yan, kasama natin ngayon ang volleyball analyst and one of my favorite partners on the broadcast team, Noreen Go, para tulungan tayong himayin ang finals matchup. Noreen, great to see you. Great to have you back here on The Score. Thanks, Anton. Always excited to be here. <laughs> Alam mo, exacto lang, Noreen, na pareho tayong naka-blue dahil it's going to be a battle between the two teams with exactly. the shade of blue, Pokari at Bali Pure bukas. Uh, Noreen, what was your reaction? Matapos sa uh, manalo ng Bali Pure sa game number two after taking a game one beating. Well, for me as as a fan, let's talk mm -hmm. about me as a fan. I I like it. I like it for the sport, for the league, no. Because normally when we coaches will say or, or the veterans will say bilog ang bola. Mm -hmm. Some of the kids don't really grasp that concept. Eh. Pag alam nilang oh mas malakas to, paano bilog ang bola? Mm -hmm. diba? They will always win. But mm -hmm. in this case, in paper, kasi. I think the water defense, the, the Lady Warriors are mm. supposed to be stronger because heading into the finals, they added Crystal Rivers. Yes. Uh, but but what the water defenders obviously showed us that mm -hmm. that even after that first game beating, you can come back and actually snatch that game and mm. bring it to a deciding. Alam mo, Noreen, papasok actually sa game number two. Marami na nagsasabi na tapos na ang serye. It's going to be the Lady Warriors again, champions, the first ever champions ng PVL Reinforced Conference. Pero nagulat ako nung nakuha ng Bali Pure ang first two sets. Pero humabol nga ang uh, Lady Warriors. And in the fifth set, in the end, nakita natin yung Bali Pure prevail. So what, what did you see? Aside from Gretzel Soltanis' heroics, the winning spike, ano yung nakita mo sa crucial fifth set ng Game 2? Well, I, I, you gotta love the, the performance of Jasmine Nabor for mm. me because, of course, Keddy will have her numbers. Bo Lee played inspired for me, really, also. We gotta mention Bo Lee and Nabor. Why? Because for me, Nabor really showed that she's, she has come out of her shell. I mean, of course, going up against a player like Giselle C, who, who's veteran, everybody respects her so much, Nabor is the up-and-coming. And then she showed the way she played in that game. I mean, for her to make the right decision at the right time, I'm talking about the last few sets to Gretchen Soltones. Normally, a coach or uh, the fans would say, give it to your import. Uh -huh. But no, what did she do? She gave it to Soltones. And while we were talking about it, we got to mention game two. Game one, Soltones didn't have a good ending to that. But in mm. game two, Nabor helped her erase that. So I think that was special for the water defenders. So who has momentum coming into game number three in your opinion? Oh, definitely the water defenders okay. for, for me. Because you know, when we saw what happened, what transpired in game two, we saw where you know, they really hung. They, they dug deep. Right? They could have won, they lost in the third set. Then they could have, you know, I mean, the third and the, the fourth, the third and the fourth, it was a story, a fairy tale story that you can come back and actually win it. So you're saying that, are you also saying that the pressure is on the Lady Warriors now since sila ay natalo, they had a chance to win it in five sets in game number two, pero natalo. Are you saying, or can you say that the pressure is on the Lady Warriors? I would say, people, people would normally say that because nga, uh, I think with the addition, because we have to keep mentioning, with, with the addition of Crystal Rivers, mm. her credentials, her resume, I mean, everyone was saying, I, the, the Lady Warriors came to the finals without her, and then you bring in a superstar. I mean, like, no-brainer na, diba? Mm. It's in the bag. That's why the first the first game went quick, four sets. But, you know, in, in the second game, it's like, it's di it's different. So, it's, it's great for the sport because it goes to show that heart can actually win games. Now let's talk about the reinforcements. Dahil nga itong reinforced conference na rin, sinabi mo na new addition itong si Crystal Rivers. She only played in the finals yeah. in these two games. Do you think naka-apekto ito somehow sa performance ni Michelle Strizak? Kasi alam naman natin, si Michelle Strizak is a scoring machine. She can put up the numbers. Madali sa kanya makascore ng 20+. plus. Pero dito sa finals, bumagsak ang kanya mga numero because of the arrival of Crystal Rivers. If you're Michelle Striza, how do you approach game number three? Well, you know, you gotta remember really that it's also in the hands of the setter. I mean, when set upon, Kunara called upon, if Giselle C just gives it to Striza, she will swing away, as mm. uh, Coach 
Romel will always say, swing away, she will. But of course, with the addition of a Rivers in your lineup, you know that the scoring will be more balanced in terms of the imports. In terms of uh, priority, obviously, maybe geared towards Rivers at this point, no? But I feel that in Game 3, it should be really well balanced. It, it can't be just Rivers. It has to be Rivers, Striza, give a bit to Ponaga, mm. Pablo. So it's got to be well distributed, really. A lot of hype on the side of the Lady Warriors dahil nga, sinasabi nila, Lebron James, itong si Crystal Rivers, Michelle Striza, of course, the, the monster numbers. Sa kabilang panig naman, tahimik lang, napaka-steady lang na mga imports nila. Si Boli, who is a legend, and of course, si uh, Jenny Keddy. I call her steady Jenny Keddy because because she's just like that. She's right. just she's just steady. She just does her job and after eight points in game number one, si Keddy had twenty points in game number two. Do you think um, this goes to their advantage? It's an advantage for Keddy na wala masyadong hype sa side nila as compared to what we see from Rivers and Striza. Well what I see from the water defenders no, they're very Team oriented, really. I mean, you see locals easily score in double digits almost every game. Like you have like Malabanan and the Sultones and Sat. I mean, these people just play their game. So you can see automatic, it's well distributed. Of course, you rely, you lean always towards your imports. I, I think th this is the strength that, uh, that the water defenders played to here in, in game two. Who do you think has the best? Locals among these two teams. Si sino mas lama? I think when you t when you write it down player to player, <laughs> I think it's really pretty much even. Even, okay. Pretty much even. So it really depends. I remember when I covered game one mm. of uh, of the finals. I think I, I said that uh, the, the challenge of the Lady Warriors will will lie mm -hmm. on the chemistry because they've been playing well going into the finals. You add a superstar to your fold but the chemistry will always be a challenge because of course we know that she hasn't been practicing with the team for a long time and it showed in game two that you know they still lack something that they're hoping in game three they will they will find it Noreen, we always do this in basketball when I have guests on the show. We talk about our predictions. Meron ka bang prediction para sa game number three bukas ang huling laban ng reinforced conference ng PVL? Well, in paper, I would say that uh, the Lady Warriors are stronger in paper. Mm. But the water defenders have the momentum. What I predict is we will go the distance. Go the distance. Well, I'm sure all the volleyball fans would love that. Another yeah. thrilling five-set match. Should be. Because we've had a lot. Yes. <laughs> we had the course, most, Especially you and me. <laughs> no, Jing. <laughs> all right. Thank you very much, Noreen, for coming back here on The Score. And see you again soon. Thanks, Anton. Hi guys, keep watching The Score for the latest sports updates and don't forget to subscribe to the ABS-CBN Sports in Action YouTube channel.